Okay, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for part two of my Dead Center Left for Dead 2 campaign. Well, we had a pretty damn good start overall. And I'm enjoying playing this again. I've been getting into it, doing a few practice playthroughs with a few friends. And then playing with the CPU for my YouTube playthrough. I'm happy with how it's going so far. But there are one or two of the campaigns which I've not played for such a long time. Like Swamp Fever and Hard Rain. That I need to practice them before I upload them. Because obviously I need to avoid dying There's needless to say. The to the mall. We should be good here. Visit. Hey this man's talking some sense. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Zombie apocalypse ain't all that bad. Let's go find that mall. I really like the contrast between the first game and the second game, like, the second game is more in the daytime, the first game is more at night. I do like the difference. And I think that the first game is set in the east of America, the northeast. This is set in the deep south, if you will, jockey. CPU getting some good special infected kills. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen! Oh yes, set up more foot on fire! Ellis is taking a bit of a battering. I've got it. Watch out for the ones in the hazmat suits. But he's already dead. He's not healed. Heal I'll heal him up. Okay, we've got the tank out of the way. I don't think we dealt pretty well with him. I'd say naturally the second game is a bit harder than the first game. But I think that's also to do with the fact that some of the enemies are cheaper and the game is just a lot more non-stop really. There's a boomer. Really close. Sometimes on this game... In here. You just gotta accept that the game wants you dead. But it's not the case. Oh fuck! Reloading. Jesus Christ. Reload, reloading. We might have a hard incoming. Yep. Yeah. Reloading. I'm tempted to get the axe. I always spend a bit of the time with a shotgun in the first game, and the same with the second game, so I think I'm going to go for the axe, just to show you guys the melee, because obviously melee isn't in the first game. That's, that right there is why I don't use it. That why, right there is why I don't use it. You tend to swing and miss a hell of a lot. Should have killed that hunter about 20 seconds ago again. Reloading. Reloading. Oh, Ma Molotov there, nice. But yeah, I'm also going to go out to the shotgun soon as well. There's a new shotgun in this game. Over the dump. And I like it. I'm no ammo left. For real? I could do with some ammo right now. Any weapon. Well, we've got ourselves an interesting situation here, ladies and gentlemen. Adrenaline 
a shot here. No ammo, but a second axe. Fat guy. Fat guy. Reloading. Oh yes. Like, that is great AI right there. This is my favourite weapon, it's the old. Well done, Nick. Well done. It's the old assault rifle from the first game. Well, a lot of hunters so far. We can jump down onto Reloading. this truck. Reloading. You are Reloading. No, you're walking in front of me. One of the things I don't like about this game is that the characters react every single time you accidentally shoot them. So online, it forces people to get very aggressive with each other Reloading. when you accidentally shoot people because they think it's on purpose. Got ourselves a witch, guys. And I think it's an unavoidable one. A charge is coming up as well. But there are certain witches this that are way. very, very difficult to avoid. Big arm! Big arm. <laughs> yeah, there's the second cheapest super infected in the game. Special infected. After the jockey. And you're not going to find. Most worse places. Many worse place witches than that. Jesus Christ. Reloading. Right. Here we go. There you go. If that was an advanced, I'd have thrown a Molotov and ran like hell, not stopping for anything. Because on normal, as you can see, they're dead straight away. But on advanced or expert, whew, you better hope you get away from her. Reloading. So I think I'm going to go to dual handguns here and get the shotgun, if possible, if this guy has handguns, does he? Yeah, he does. Dual handguns, and here's the shotgun I was talking about. Oh, yeah! And a laser sight as well, as you can see here. So now we've got to get this crazy guy's call up. And this is one of the most intense and ridiculous hard moments in the game. Because I'm playing with the CPU, I've got to carry the caller, obviously. So you can't carry the caller and shoot, so it can be quite problematic. Oh shit, this ain't gonna be good. Grabbing caller. Grab him, pew, motherfucker! Uh, 
I like to just carry the coal a bit by bit. Then if it gets too crazy, drop it and shoot some zombies. Obviously there's RNG going on here and the AI director, but it's not been so bad thus far. There's a boomer somewhere. The malls are really fun part of the campaign. There's a hunter. How many times on the second game does that happen? Yeah, you should be killing the enemies. But the game says it's the CPU. Let's get the zombies out of the tent, see ya. Well, that was pretty worthless. Oh, that's one hell of a hard. I hear that boomer. He was closer to me than I thought, actually. Reloading. As you can see on this game as well, I don't think it's in the first game, but there's a kind of blur effect when enemies shoot around you and over your head. You can just see the screen go fuzzy. Pretty cool, actually. I think I'm going to heal up Hold here. Up. Healing. Why not? Oh, That's yeah. part two done. A little bit Lionel Messi, ladies and gentlemen. But we got there in the end. Ah. Oh, oh! Well, coach seems happy. 168 kills. And I'm happy. See you in part three, motherfuckers.